Hey everybody, 47 Mark 4 here, back playing Exoria. All right, so since the last time, I've had some coolness and I've had a lot of weirdness. So for the coolness, right, right over here, check this thing out. So I walked the world and I found another one of these and I went and picked it up and moved it into the base because these guys right here, you can uh, pick up and set down. So now we've got, you know, the, the portal inside of our base and I went and finished the fish and one of the quests, let's see. So one of the quests right here was to make fish tanks. And so I put the fish tanks right here and dumped all of the fish in it. Very cool. Now for the weirdness, I finally figured out this thing. So to get a crafting table is this recipe, but it will not work in this thing. You have to do it up here. And that took forever. Now here's the weird part. I can't break these. Oh, finally. Dude, I spent so long doing that and I couldn't get these guys to break. Yeah, just like this. Why will you not break? There you go. Finally. I'm not really sure. I'm getting nervous with the amount of weirdness that's going on. You know, I just wanted to finish these. Which, by the way, how do you like my uh, drawer room? I had to put up some shakes, and you need shakes to be able to put these down. So, you know, I made a whole bunch and put them in this room. Come on, dude, get out of here, garbage crafting table. There you go. And, you know, to test this thing, I went ahead and made some sieves. And I'll show you the sieves here. So let's grab some ash and I'll come over here and it's got that nice multi-block action so I can get a bunch of these. I'm hoping that this is the five by five and it doesn't seem that the mesh is taking durability. Now, is there different tiers of mesh? Sure enough, there is, right? Flint stiff and meshed, which we could get, which will get me, uh, I could see for nickel and zinc. And you can become liquid zinc, which can become zinc ingots, which can become stuff, right? And then iron stiffen mesh. Uh, let's see. And with you, all right, prismarine, aluminum, nickel. All right. Uh, somehow we're going to get up to diamonds. Somehow. Now, I'm hoping that a little bit of sieving here, and I will sieve a ton in between episodes, right? I just want to get all of this stuff done. Let's see, did I, let's go to the, yeah, right over here somewhere, resource automation right here. So I made the sieve. Oh, fiber mesh incomplete. What do you mean? See, there's the weirdness again. All right, let's dump off the things that we've sieved right there. Now, fiber mesh isn't that hard to do. Ah, dude, you can go right there. Right, so let's see. I'm going to need my work blade. All right, and I'm going to need a couple of these guys. So let's do this. Nope, let's do this. One, two, three. Right, that should get me all of these that I need. And put this in here will give me a fiber mesh. And there we go. I've already done that. And there's the ash. And so all I need to do is find sulfur and niter. Right, so let's take a look here. Sulfur. So sulfur right there. Coming over here to sieving tells me it's a fiber mesh and that it's a 2% chance. So what I'm probably going to do, uh, let's, let's test a thing here. Let's test a thing. Do I still have everybody? So yeah, let's just go crazy, right? Let's go crazy and let's do this. Let's see. So there's seven more. Right, and I'll take another seven, and let's make a bunch of sieves, right? So uh, let's just see what we can get. Sieve, right? Right here. So this was planks, sticks, and slabs. All right, we should have a lot of this stuff. Oh, garbage things. You can go in there, and let's just pick these up, right? Boom, boom, boom. Ah, so good. So I'm going to make, um, yeah, that many. That'll work. And let's go make a sieve area. I think I've got the room left in my inventory. Do I? Yes. All right, let's test. Oh, uh, yeah, I wasn't quite done with this room, but guess what? I am now. So let's go. Let's go like this, right? Five. One, two, three. Uh, and I'd really like a row back here. 
even if you float and I'll fill that room in, right? So I'd really like a bunch and yeah, let's just do this, right? Fill all of these dudes in just like that. Am I one short? Ah, I'm one short. That's okay. Cause I got the middle right here, which is what I wanted to test. Yeah, I can do five by five sieving. All right. So I just got to make a bunch more of these because I've been saving so much ash. Like every piece of ash I come across, I've been stuffing into the drawer room, right? Did I get, no, I didn't get any of the sulfur that I needed. And you know, I think I'm going to sieve for a minute. So give me just a second. Yeah. I want to see if I can get this done. All right, so I finished up my five by five sieves. And so, you know, hey, 25 at a time. Now I'm hoping that maybe I can go bigger than that. I'm not sure. And let me go dump off all the sieving byproducts, which, man, I got a ton, right? We got phosphor. We got tiny piles of charcoal. I want to I wanna play with you. There's some sulfur, which I'm going to need. Burnium, I'm not sure. So let's look at that too. And I've got a whole bunch of extra plant fibers. So you dudes can just kind of, yeah, you can go in there, right? And let's, uh, oh, I love being able to dump out into the drawers. So let's see right here. There you go. All right. So let's see what the uses of you are. So you make pulverized coal and pulverized coal. Oh, I'd love to put you in a condenser. I would love to do that, right? I can put you in the metal infuser with a liquid alumina which i can't make yet all right so i can make pulverized coal right and i could use you for fuel i feel like you're needed for something ash powder makes ash and burnium makes burnium dust and what do i do with you right i can uh no that's how i make you what do i do with you uh okay so i'm getting closer that way I can make burnium crystals, which do something. All right, that's probably all TBD to come. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just chuck this stuff back in there. All right, very cool, got that done. So that has, whoa, blown open this quest line right here. And, you know, we made chests. Oh, and I should show you the thing I've got to go and figure out. So let's go take a look here. So bees. Bees straight up, I don't enjoy them, I don't like them, I find no joy in this mod, but it has to be done. And there's something I don't understand right here. So let's uh, let's take a look here. So right here, it told me to make this stuff, right? So tiny items, blah, 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 machine controller, right? Tiny fluid, small item, tiny item, and I needed 23 bee houses and a fairy dust. And now it wants me to go to bee breeding to make an apiary. And I guess we can try to make the apiary, but I couldn't find a structure in this that took the parts that I had. Right? So I can make the bee attractor and none of the parts match up. Right? The bee attractor needs 26. Let's see if I can see it come around. Uh, right there. So it needs 26, but it doesn't need the fluid stuff. And so I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to work on bees on the side because it is just going to be painful to watch. But let's see if we can make that seed oil at least and make a little progress there, right? So an apiary, uh, let's, let's see, let's go here. Apiary, right? An apiary needs impregnated casing, which is a carpenter, which is bronze and a sturdy casing, which is, oh, dawn stone. Right, which means I need a circuit board, which means I need an engineer's workbench, which means I need treated wood. Oh man, all right, so that is clearly not happening for a little while. So we're stuck there. What about adhesive and an egg? What does adhesive take? Right, your embers. And so I need an exchange table, which means I need Dawn Stone, which means I got to do the whole embers process. All right, can't get there. Uh, what does an egg take? What would an egg take? So your life infuser using the adhesive and red sandstone, which I get from somewhere, red sand, which I'm not 100% sure, right? I need an alchemy catalyst to do that. All right, so clearly I got to look in that quest line just a little bit. 
So let's go. Let's see. We're stuck on magical, right? Because I need gems, whatever gems is. So I'm stuck this way, but I'll keep looking at the bees. So let's go over here because this is resources, right? And I always like that. So explosions. Now that I have sulfur, I can make some explosive material. If I contain the explosion in a special structure, I might be able to make some crystal shards. Uh, so I need a casing and a combustion heater. And I can trigger it with the hourglass that I made. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I need to put some glass on the four sides to see what's inside. And then I can put a dropper on top, which allows me to see the glass. So, okay, let's do this one at a time. I should encase the structure in some explosive resistant stone. Hardened stone is a bit expensive. So I'll use concrete now again. All right, let's make gunpowder. Let's make gunpowder. Right, so gunpowder, you are... Two niter, a pulverized coal, and a sulfur. So did I just get your dust, your two niter, right? A sulfur, and then this, right? Should make me one of those. So right there, your gunpowder. All right. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Made a gunpowder. So stone combustion heater. All right. So let's do uh, combustion. Let's go take a look at combustion. So I'm going to need, I need a whole bunch of cooked stone. And I should have that in here. Yeah, right there. All right, let's make this. So I'm going to do this, right? And that's a heat component. And then around like that again, no. And then, oh, like that. All right, so I got a combustion heater. And I'm going to need a stone casing, right? So stone casing, which means a stone gear. And so I need cobblestone. All right, can do. Right there, cobblestone and stone casing. Gotcha. I don't remember this stuff blowing up. Uh, a dropper? A dropper. Are you just, uh, are you just cobble? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lever, lever. What are you? Your torch. I've got levers here somewhere. I made a bunch. Yeah, lever. All right, so there's a dropper, right? You're going to face down. And let's see, clear glass, which is Tinker's, right? Aren't you clear glass right there? All right. My plan is to make the casing, blah, 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 right? I know how to do that. And I need to put some glass on the four sides. Dropper on top, on top of this thing. In case something goes wrong, I should encase the structure in some explosive resistant stone. Uh, let's go take a look. So I need crystal shards. But how? Hmm. <laughs> this is clearly not something I want to do in the base, right? I just want to look in you. So if I do this, uh, let's look here. Okay, let's look. Crystal shards. You should just be glass right in here. And you need heat units, right? And okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's do this outside. Let's do this outside. I will skip the concrete unless I have to have the concrete to detect it. Uh, so I'm going to need something to burn, which is probably charcoal, I'm going to guess. So let's grab a little bit of charcoal. Uh, no, a little bit more than that. All right, let's go outside and see this thing happen. And then I can learn about it because I'm a little afraid I'm going to blow it up. All right, right out here. Uh, yeah, sure. Right here. Right there is a great spot. Let's, uh, let's light everybody up. Do I have... Yeah, I got cobble on me. Right? Because... So let's say that you're the block for the, uh, the combustion chamber. So you are going to be the dropper. So if I do that, right, and take this out, and maybe take that out, I should be able to put the dropper facing down like that. Right? I think this will work. Uh, and then let's... Uh, yeah. There we go. Let's combine those. And I can do this. And I can do... Must be in a closed room. Really? I've got to do this inside? Oh, man. We're going to blow up the whole place. All right. Well, where would we do the least amount of damage? Not in there. Not in there. Did I dig this one out yet? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll do it in here. All right. So let's... uh. Let's drop this guy off the ceiling one, right? 
Nope, 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 nope. All right, let's drop this off the ceiling one. And uh, where did my casing go? Is my casing, did it not come back in my inventory? Right? Uh, I don't like this mechanic. Did I lose it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so then it's you, and I put you inside of it, right? And I feel like this goes lower. Uh, is there a... It's usually like G, right? You're not... This isn't right. I know this isn't right. I know it's not right. I know it for a fact. All right, let's do this. You go a block lower. You go a block lower, right? So you go there, and that goes there. And then uh, let me get a piece of cobblestone on top, right? And then it goes something like this. That's how it usually goes, right? Last time I used Sky Resources, it was something like that. So a piece of cobble, and you... Right, but maybe this is where they want... No, see, it's a valid multi-block formed, right? And let's give you a little bit of charcoal, right? And you're going to get heat units. And what happens when you get all the way up? Nothing. All right, so then up here, uh, I'm going to need I'm going to need a lever, right, or a button. But uh, well, I guess I could do this, right? Let's get a button, and I can put you on there. And if I throw one of you in there. Put it in there. I need something right here. I need something. Okay, all right. It's been a while since I used Sky Resources, so it took me a minute to remember, because last time I used them, I had this all set up to be automatic. And, oh, nope, we can drop our glass in there. And then we blow it up, right? And this was a giant pain because you had to break everything and replace it, right? All right, now I'm with you. So that gave me crystal shards, right? And so this is complete. And yeah, right here. So upgrading the crucible, your crucible inserter, automated explosions. So let's see, make more shards. I need a combustion heater and a casing. I can automate the gathering of shards. So an iron casing, a combustion collector. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, what would it take for an iron combustion whatever, right? So, uh, not bad, not bad. We might be able to get this done. Let's, uh, let's go take a look here. So I'm going to need, yeah, we're running out of supplies. One, two, three, four, uh, four right here. One, two, I think that was the recipe, right? So you guys and you and you two will make me, oh, I had a piece of gunpowder and I've got a bunch of iron right here. Let's see if we can make this one, because it's just better, right? So there's that, there's this one, and I'm going to need an iron casing, right? Right there, so an iron gear. Oh, we got to go pour, yeah, 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 we got to go pour the gear out. That's going to take a minute. Uh, so let's see, swap you to there, and a gear, right? An iron gear is going to take, uh, we can use any. Is it four? 576, I think it's four, right? So let's uh, let's put four of these dudes in here and we'll let it melt up. Yeah, I've got that hourglass right there that I could use. Uh, so let's see, it was a casing, right? So I just need to do that. And then what was the last piece? A combustion, right? Combustion collector. Uh, let's see, right there, which is a hopper, which is light iron plates, yeah, you're all plates. All right, let's whack down some plates. That will be easier. Put those guys there. Take this out. Let's go get a couple of plates. Uh, so right here. Will you, oh, nope, I wanted the hammer. Will you just do it? No, I got to put the first one down. Right, so let's make a quick hopper. Right, four and five. And a chest, chest, chest right there. All right, so I should be able to do this, right? And there's a hopper and combustion collector right there. Very cool. And that tells me I'm probably going to need a crucible, right? So let's make a quick crucible, right? Just like that. There's one of those. 
and you're going to need to be on fire, right? So let's, uh, yeah, let's put you right here. And what are you below? Of course, your basalt. Of course, your basalt. Do I have any ash on me? Uh, yes, I do. All right, so we'll put a piece of ash down here, and let's light it on fire, and we'll put our crucible right there. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that I take the crystal shards and I throw you in there and you're making crystal fluid. Okay, and crystal fluid is needed for something. I can't remember. Uh, but let's see. So we should get our gear. We should be able to pour this dude out now. Right, so you'll fill up. I hope you'll fill up to the right level. 576. Very cool. Take a look. So I just need the iron casing. And right here, oh yeah, I'm going to need a condenser and a fluid dropper. And dust gems into crystals. Iron condenser, yeah, because i got to put the fluid in there. Right, so right there. Something like this. I'm going off from memory here a little bit. Uh, so right there gets me my iron casing. All right, this is better. Making progress. Automated explosions. Right, so I can take you away now, and I'll put you down, and you, and we'll take this one away, and let's see, I'm going to need, I just need something to set against, right, because you now go there, okay, right, crystal fluid, uh, I want to get all of these, something's not right there, yeah, let's make the uh, condensers, so you're the casing, stop it. And let's make the condenser. Condensor. Right, so it was an iron one, which is pulverized coal and iron. All right, we can do this. I feel like I'm right on the verge of something. Right, and a tiny pile of coal dust here. Come in, just make me a bunch. Right, and put you dudes back. So let's make the iron condenser. Is that going to require another iron gear because it needs a casing? I think it needs a casing, right? So an iron casing, I'm going to need another iron gear. All right, let's make one, two, three, four. There you go. All right, so fluid dropper, fluid dropper. Oh, I remember this now. I remember now. All right, so fluid dropper, you go right there. I remember. Okay, all right, so... Right, the fluid dropper will automatically insert things that are next to it, which needs to be the crucible. All right, so I'm just going to waste that little bit. We'll put the fire out. All right, I am I got it now. I got it. All right, let's go pour out our gear, assuming those things have melted. Right? All right, uh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up a little bit. Yeah, uh, we'll make the crucible inserter. How about that? Inserter. Because that should be pretty easy. That's just a dropper. All right. There we go. Let's make this. Where are my levers? They're on me. All right. So right there, make the dropper. Right? And make this dude. And we'll get the gear. We'll make the last piece. Right? Pour you out. Come on, 576. Right there. Nice. Okay, now we're going to make some progress, because we're going to have this and saving online, both at the same time. Right, so uh, right here, I need one of those, and am I about to make a mistake? Am I about to make a mistake? I am. What was I going to do? I was going to make a casing. I was going to make an iron casing. Uh, 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 uh. All right, well, we got an extra dropper. All right, so let me set this up, and, uh, you know, I'll come right back to you. All right, so I think, I think I've got this now. Okay, didn't make a lot of sense. So let's take some of this stuff right here. Oh, man, I am full. All right, let's take a little bit of this stuff, and let's go understand. So taking a look at this thing, I'm going to need to put my button. Yeah, I need my button on this guy. So step one, I'm going to take a piece of glass, right, and we're going to put it in the dropper. We're going to put it in there, uh, assuming that this thing is up to heat. I'm going to blow it up, right? These things are here, so now I can build craft this stuff. 
I'm going to put the crystals in the cru crucible inserter. They'll melt. The fluid droppers go sideways before they go down. So the fluid dropper comes in here. And then in the condenser, I should be able to put... Right? I should be able to put something like this, I think. Right? Do you go in there? No. How about the... Uh, where's that burnium stuff? Uh, let's take a look here. Crystallizer, I should be able to make my first useful resources. So let's take a look. Burnium. Right? Burnium crystal in the condenser. It says I need burnium dust. Oh, oh, oh. I need burnium dust. Uh, so where are you? So is burnium dust this? Right? So then I can put you in there. And now you're going to do a thing. Right? So now you're going to condense... And this is where I'm going to have to figure out a way to... I think you're going to become a solid. Right? Uh, let's just see what happens. Right? So what happens here? Come on. What are you going to do? Yep. Oh, nice. It spits it out. Ah, uh, it spits it out. That's right. So I can collect off from this. So that's the process right there. So now I should be able to take this dude out and put that in. It'll still have to make the burnium, but now I can make coal. Awesome. So it has been a big day. Uh, I think I'm going to call it here for today. You know, this is a lot of stuff. I still want to clean it up and move it around and make it a lot nicer. But there we go. We've got coal and whatever we do with burnium crystals. So I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, hey, drop me a like, uh, leave me a comment, let me know, and then I will see you in the next episode.